Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Okay, in the Bushcraft Kit Series, I want to talk about a chopping tool. Now, hatchets, machetes, axes, kukris, there's a lot of choices, and depending on your environment is what you need for your needs. Now, if all you're looking for is something small and compact for making kindling for the fire, I recommend you get one of those small hatchets. Edge it up right, and we'll deal with hatchets in a little bit, but use it because it's very versatile around camp for pounding tent stakes and things like that, splitting stubborn wood, etc. If you're living in an area where it's more softwoods, one of those kukri-shaped machetes by Cold Steel, one of the kukri-shaped machetes from Cold Steel is a good choice. This is actually a machete, but it's shaped like a kukri and it's got all those advantages. And we're going to deal with that in a minute with kukri. A hatchet does a really good job for splitting kindling and stuff like that. That's the reason the Boy Scouts of America, for many, many years, every Boy Scout had a knife and a hatchet. Here in my southern woods, and I'm right on the Florida border in Alabama, I'm in a semi-tropical jungle down here. It's mostly conifers and deciduous mixed with thick undergrowth. So for my personal choice, what I choose is a kukri. You've seen this in videos, and I'm about to do a series just on the kukri. It's my favorite chopper like you'd use a hatchet. Think at the moment like a mixture of a hatchet and a machete. It's light enough I can use it for the real light stuff, but it's heavy enough I can split wood easily with it. And a bunch of other stuff. We'll get to that. But a hatchet is a good idea. Now this is called a half You have a handle that is very reminiscent of a hammer feel. You have a hammer pole back here and you have a relatively thin axe head on it. This splits wood fairly easily once it's been edged and it's good for pounding tent stakes, etc. Breaking that hard hunk of dirt out of the way that's causing problems, beating down that stob sticking up when you're trying to make your bed on the ground, etc. These are inexpensive. This one only costs 20 bucks at Walmart and this is a good starting idea for a edge tool because a chopping tool is pretty much indispensable um, if you're going to do any kind of camping because you're going to find yourself where you need to pound in stakes in the ground that's just too hard to push it in with your foot. You're going to need extracting tent stakes that have got locked in there and they're like iron and you need to tap them sideways with something like this to get it up. And you're going to find that splitting kindling and taking that already down limb and busting it and getting it to pop off is much easier with a cutting tool that's designed for it. Now the saw is also, I consider, a cutting tool. Not a chopper, like this Baco. It's also something to be considered because it's very um, labor saving in many applications just to do a couple of quick cuts and snap it off as opposed to sitting there and waylaying on it. In any kind of precise work, a saw is better. So, in review, for bushcraft kit, some form of chopping cutting tool that works in your environment. Now, if you're in the boreal forest of Canada or up north, a good size axe may be uh, appropriate because that's what you need to stay warm in the cold winters. If you're further south up here in the more, you know, lower parts of Florida and other parts of the United States where it's more like a jungle than anything else, and there are no hardwoods to mess with, a machete might be your do-all be-all. Look at your environment and look what the woodsmen in your area are carrying. That'll be a good indicator. Hope this helps, guys. Please leave your questions and comments. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.